Hey guys, this is Li Xin. Today I wanted to talk about color and share some of my experience about color. There is only three steps and then you will know how to pick the right color from reference and know how to train your color sensitivity and observation. Um, I know many artists use the eyedropper tool when they are doing practice. I don't think it is a good idea, especially when you do a uh, practice. Uh, I think artists should uh, choose color by themselves and training your eyes when you are doing practice. But if you are working on some project, that's fine. Um, I mean, you can use it because some projects they have like limited time uh, and you may don't have many options, so we need to complete the work quickly. Um, so if you doing practice by using my idea, I think you will master the rule of color very soon and know the color theory well. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I want to let you guys know that uh, my hobby is to use the HSB to pick the color. Um, so basically, HSB is about uh, hue, saturation, and brightness. Those three things is very important. So when we choose a color, the first step is to consider the hue. And then the next step is to consider the brightness. I know many artists they they mix they mix it and they don't know which is the first uh, which is the second things to do. So my suggestion my suggestion will be like uh, first choose the hue, second choose the brightness. Then you think about the uh, situation. So. Uh, because generally, um, uh, when we're doing an artwork and when we finish a, an artwork, we will see some color contrast. So most of those contrasts come from situation. So uh, situation always be the third things to think about, especially when you pick the color. So. Um, uh, I don't know why the um, I mean Photoshop com uh, Photoshop company they put the uh, brightness in the third option. Normally, if I, if I would suggest to put the second option. So um, first of all, let me tell you something about uh, some basic um, basic things about color. Then I will do some simple demo to show you how to. Doing this approach. So first, we know that uh, if we use RGB to choose the color, we will know the three basic color, like uh, red, green, blue, and uh, then you use the red and the green. You can mix, get like uh, uh, yellow or orange. Then you use the green and the blue can get the ocean blue. And then if you use red and blue, you can get some, you know, pink or purple. So basically, this is like a, a before you choose a color, I mean, choose a hue. How to choose a hue? You should think about these kind of things uh, because basically, you know, it's like a, we have such kind of a lot of different color. You will know what a color with uh, mixed with a, a, another color. You can get what a kind of what a kind of color. So when we open Photoshop, you will see this option and we will see this one. So basically this is like a circle. So you see this is red, this is red. So um, totally it's like a circle. So you will know that uh, three different color from here, here, and here. And uh, in the middle, it was the two color mix it right so if you know one two three four five six 
six like a basic color, basic like a, a color, then you will be easy to finish the step step one. Yeah. So step one is about hue. So if you already got this, you will be easy to choose the hue. Second is we should talk about the brightness. And uh, actually, uh, in the um, uh, in the traditional art, I think brightness is about value. Is about uh, the transition. Is about uh, the. I mean, the 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 value is very important. And a lot of artists, they the artwork have some problem. It was not about the color. The color is not very important. And actually, uh, I learned a lot of uh, stuff from older master oil painting or. Ask a lot of professor. I get, I get some, I got some like un, uh, like answer. They always told me that uh, the color is not important. The value is very important. So the brightness is very important. So uh, you may heard a lot of like uh, your friend or your teacher told you you should work on the value system, five value system, right? And uh, um, Mm, improve your ability about the value, right? So this is the, this is why they always talking about this because the color is really depends on your personality or your feeling or your favorite color, but the value is inside the reference inside anything. So the value is very important. The brightness is very important. The third one about the situation. Uh, uh, you, I would like to say um, when you finish the first one and the third one, then the uh, the second one, the, th the third one, you just need uh, to think about a little bit. You know, don't push a lot of uh, situation on your artwork because sometimes when you transfer to the say MYK, if you want to print your artwork. If you push your situation to 100%, that, that might be a problem because for the print, it was very hard to make it real. Now, I mean, I mean, uh, the color will be have some different when you print out. So this is what I can um, tell you for for the uh, for the idea. So first, think about the hue. Second, think about the brightness. Third, think about the situation. This is the first three steps. So let's get started. So here I have some reference. So I would like to show you how to pick the color, but not use the, I mean, the eye drop, eye drop tool. So first of all, you know, uh, let's just think about. Uh, I, I will start uh, for the background for the character. You know, so think about the background. You like a little bit, you know, yellow. So red and uh, green in the middle. It was like yellow, right? So we will think like in the middle is yellow. Then think about the brightness. This is, uh, you know, the, the this yellow against this dark area. So maybe you know it's like a little bit like this area is fine, you know, because right now we have that situation. Saturation. So we just think about uh, how much saturation that we need. I think probably you know it's like uh, here. Yeah. So let's test it. Alright, so based on this color, I feel this color a little bit, you know, a, a little bit uh, too much yellow. Maybe I need to edit a little bit red. So I push the button here, right? Alright, maybe edit more saturation. So this color should be similar like the reference. Maybe I can push more saturation. Okay, you see, 
this is what I got for the background. It may be a little bit different, but it almost close, right? It was very close to the background, and I can push a little bit of value, you know, because we saw the background have some a little bit of light area. And uh, compare on the ground, the ground uh, compared with the background, we will see the, the, the ground a little bit, you know, bright, the brightness is is lighter than the background. So we will light the background. So, and the situation will be a little bit here. Let's see, right, very, you know, pretty close. Maybe too much. Brightness, so and a little bit of saturation, you see. So right now we finish the background. I'm not like doing an artwork. I'm just show you how to choose color. So you will see right now if I work on the character, character is easy because we see a very strong contrast. First uh, is like the black and white, the shadow and the light area. So. It's, uh, you see, his color will be the, his clothes. Maybe it's too much. Okay, this one should be like the right color. And uh, we can compare with the um, light and shadow area. I mean, on this white clothes, you will see this his uh, arm and his uh, uh, core shadow, cast shadow. We have different color. So if if I walk on the heat arm, you will see a little bit of situation here, right? This is his arm. Then we think about his uh, cast shadow. It will be cold a little because the you know he is in the uh, open area. The sky is blue. The sun is very strong. So his his Cast shadow will be darker than the core shadow, and uh, that will be a little bit of blue. So we can edit a little bit of blue. I mean, it's not about that you edit the blue to the color. It's like uh, the color theory is about uh, you. If I choose the color from here. I just needed to uh, in um, I just needed to think about uh, if if the color uh, if this uh, area is color against uh, to the cast shadow. So I will make the situation down a little bit. So you will see this color is his uh, cast shadow. So. Basically, this is what I how to choose color. And uh, you know, if if uh, we want to choose the color from the reference like this purple, we can we can think about uh, this purple. His uh, brightness is like uh, similar like the core shadow. So the brightness will be here around, and uh, change the hue to the purple. Then think about the situation, maybe a little bit uh, down for the brightness. So this is the color that I can choose from the reference. You see, maybe too much purple, maybe a little bit back, a little, then too much saturation, a little bit, you know. So maybe too much brightness. You see, right now the color is very close, right? Maybe a little bit of blue. <laughs> Anyway, you see, this is what uh, what I can do for a practice how to choose a color. So, so basically, you can see that I didn't use the uh, eyes drop uh, tools. I just used my eyes to choose the color. Let's try use the eye dropper tools to check this color is correct or not. First, let's take a look. You will see the uh, color from here. I will draw, choose from here. You see? Did you see the three? Uh, three different uh, area for from the HSB. You see, right? So let's take a look at mine. You see, very close, right? Pretty close. Very, very close. 
Then th take a look at the um, character. Oh, the back, uh, the, the ground, ground. You see, shoot here, shoot here. Very close, right? Then I will take a look at the character. White, the white. Oh, this white is very strong, right? So normally I won't push the white uh, 100% because normally this is like uh, this is like uh, um, if you put the brightness to the 100%, that will be a light source. So normally I will always keep uh, keep uh, keep the light area. I mean for the white stuff, always around maybe nine ninety percent. Okay. Then we think of when let's take a look at the uh, core shadow refraction light. This area you see, I it's here, right? So let's take a look at mine. Oh, a little bit, you know, different, but it's very close, especially for the situation, right? Then take a look at the cast shadow. Oh, a little bit different because he is like put a lot of purple. Like I said, you can put a little bit of uh, blue, it's fine. And then take a little bit, of, let's take a look at the purple. So first of all, with my setting, let's take a look here. You see very close, right? So, you see, normally my color from the reference, uh, I didn't make a too much mistake. So basically, if I use this way to training my eyes, I would get uh, I will get some, you know, experience and know the uh, color theory and know the rules about color. So let's use another reference. You will know because uh, when we choose a color, the most important thing is like uh, uh, mm, you will need to find the find the one color first. Then you will have a have a have a, a reference to compare with another area. So first of all, let's let's choose the most easy color in this reference, the white one, right? The white one is very easy. So this color is very easy. Second, if we need to choose the red color, what should we do? Uh, like I said, first you choose the hue. It's red, right? Maybe a little bit, you know, a little bit of um, pink, a little bit, you know, a little bit. But most of this area is like uh, red. Second, think about the value. You know, maybe the value is a little bit gray because it won't be like bright like this. Then think about the saturation is very higher. Very higher. So maybe this one. You know, you see, this is what I can do to for choose the red one. I think right now it's very close. Maybe a little bit. You know. You can put a little bit of uh, situation, a little bit of higher brightness, a little bit of cold, cold, uh, um, cold color. I mean, I did edit some like blue or purple. Think about the color mix, especially you know when you're doing a, a traditional oil painting, the color will mix by accident. So you see, right now I got this kind of interesting color right so um, let's take a look and check it this color is right or not first thing let's check the white 95% okay 94% right very close right because if you know uh, in this step actually if the brightness is very high the hue won't be won't very important because it's normally uh, if if this color get to the white, the hue uh, is not important. Then we check, take a look at the red. Okay, the red. This is my result. Right. Let's take a look at the reference. You see, very close, right? He have some like a uh, colder color. You see, here is colder color. Especially it's here. So take a look at mine. You see very close, right? So basically, it's you no. Know, if you know the rules like this, when you when you do a practice, you will be very easy to pick the right color. This won't bother you. And uh, and uh, through your practice, when you 
do a bunch of practice, then you will know the color very well. And uh, you can use this to your illustration, to your personal artwork, you know, it's really help. So you see, for this reference, it's also, you know, you can first choose the white color, second think about the um, uh, blue color, and think of, then you think about the strong orange color, then think about the background, you know, the green color. So basically, this is what I can do for the color, especially when you do a practice from a reference. I think this will help you. Um, I'm still working on my English, so if I didn't explain it very well, please leave the comment and let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much.